Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here for my first video with the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack and I just want to give a quick thank you to EA and the Game Changer Network for providing me with an early access copy of the game to go ahead and show you today. So this is my first video with it and um, if you haven't seen my early access videos before for other packs, uh, normally in like the first video that I do for a pack I'll kind of give you my overall thoughts and things instead of doing a separate review video because as you know all I really focus on is build mode so I think it's just a better and kind of easier way just to put all my thoughts into one of the early access videos. So that's what we're doing here today and I'll explain my thoughts um, about what I thought so far with the pack. I haven't had that much time with it but I'll give you my thoughts so far in a minute. Uh, but a bit more information about this build. So like I said, it's called a modern eco home. It's built on a 30 by 20 lot and I'm not actually too sure what the name of the area is. Um, it's the residential kind of uh, suburbs neighborhood in like the top hand corner and um, like in the left I think but I can't exactly remember the name of the lot itself but it is a 30 by 20 lot um, and I explain a little bit more about some trouble I had with the lot size in a minute um, and I did use quite a few packs today I didn't want to restrict myself just to eco lifestyle and base games I did use quite a few others um, and I actually found that tiny living worked really well with this um, kind of just the general style of the interior items um, so I use that quite a bit, but also, you know, quite a few others. So you can go on the gallery when this is up, when the pack comes out tomorrow. So you can, I'll upload it then, just in case you're wondering where it is if you're looking today. Because uh, I don't think there's any point putting it up now, because you're not going to have the pack to use it. But when you do look at this build, it will show you all the other packs that's been used. And it has three bedrooms and four bathrooms. And it came in at 125,850 simoleons, which I actually thought was pretty cheap. And um, I didn't really have anything in mind for what I was expecting the price to be, but I thought that's actually kind of low, um, so I suppose that's a, a good thing. So like I was just saying before about the lot size, um, originally for my first build I wanted to do a mansion build um, and with like the eco theme in mind um, and I knew from a little while ago when we started getting information about the pack that there wouldn't be any really big lots. Uh, the biggest one is a 40 by 30 and I think there's two of them, um, but the problem is is that both of those 40 by 30s are actually community spaces and you know you could still change it into residential but the kind of surrounding area of it doesn't really fit in that well and um, so I did try to do that on a 40 by 30 lot to begin with with this build so I could kind of make it into an actual mansion even though a 40 by 30 is still on the smaller side it still kind of has um, it's just really the biggest thing that we'll have to work with to make it a mansion so um i kind of had to use a 30 by 20 to do an actual house it wouldn't feel right anywhere else so i changed the theme a little bit and instead of being a mansion it's just like a family home and um, i didn't actually do any personalized rooms today there is a kids room but i didn't really make it for any particular type of sim and um, everything's fairly neutral today um and yeah so my kind of thoughts so far on the pack are actually pretty good. Um, now, as you know, I'm just a builder, so I don't have any other thoughts so far on other aspects of the pack. Um, and I kind of downloaded this pack and went straight into building. So I kind of just got my impressions as I went through building this home. But I do really love build mode in this pack. Uh, there is a good amount of things for all different types of categories within build mode. Um, you know, it's a shame that we didn't get any more kitchen counters because I think that everybody's been asking for that. Um, so that's been a little bit of a pain to kind of do another kitchen that's kind of similar to other builds I've done before. But I do think that there is a really good variety of different items. And like I was saying before about Tiny Living, I also found that as I was building this, uh, there was a lot of other packs that I worked really well with. Um, so this is one of those packs that, you know, you can buy with others and you're not going to have too much of a problem with it standing out. So, you know, like Realm of Magic, that's kind of its own standalone thing that you don't really use, at least I don't, in other builds. But I think this one um, has a really great sort of interior style with the items that makes it really easy to pair with other things. So I was really happy about that. And I don't really have any negatives so far about build mode. As I'm going through this voiceover and watching the speed build back, I might like click on with a few things, but nothing's come to mind just yet. Um, but I also really loved that we have the new kind of off the grid window placement and door placement. That was so great to finally use today and it actually worked really well. I was thinking that maybe it'll glitch in areas and I did get one window that was glitching a little bit. I don't know if that's got to do with this new feature or not, but um, I'm really happy that we got this because it made it so much easier to make little adjustments where I needed to. Um, and it just made the whole building process a lot easier. And um, like I was saying before about negatives, one thing that really just comes to mind is what I was saying before about the lot sizes. That isn't really relating to build mode, but if I just had one criticism, it would be that because I've noticed that a lot of the newer worlds have much 
smaller lots in them, um, which makes me a mansion builder primarily kind of hard to do that. So it would have been nice to have a few more bigger lots, but um, I still really love the world. I think it's really well designed. It's just the lot sizes, which are a little bit frustrating. Um, so we're working on the interior now, and I did do all the wall coverings and floor and tiles off screen, as I normally do, just because you're going to see it when we decorate that room, and it just saves a little bit more time in the speed build. Um, so I um, actually really love this floor plan that I did today. Um, I didn't have a plan for it. I kind of just went in, and this is what I came up with. Um, so we've got like the entryway here, and kind of like a more formal dining room, and you've got that big kitchen area there which I just placed that dining table in um, and that is where the kitchen is and like a smaller sort of breakfast table I'd imagine you could call it um, and then it kind of goes through that archway there into the living room which is actually studying there as well uh, there's one bathroom downstairs there's also a garage as well and um, so that has a few equipment in it and what you might have seen at the beginning of this video is that I was going to place in a basement um, and the way you access the basement is through the garage but later on in the build I actually decided to take out the basement so there isn't one there now but if you did want to put a basement in and you're looking for somewhere to put the um, staircase then the back of the garage would be a good place to do that um, because I think basements are a really great way to expand on a home I think it's a lot easier to put a basement in than it is to build like a third floor if you know what I mean so you can do that if you need to. Um, I would have wanted this house to be a bit bigger, but I didn't want to make it too crazy for a 30 by 20 lot. So I just kept it with the three bedrooms and the four bathrooms. So if you have any more ideas for other builds that you want to see with this pack, then let me know as that'd be really helpful. I know I ask for suggestions all the time, but it is really helpful. Um, I think the next build I do is in one of the apartments because I was so happy to see that we'll have apartments in this new world because I really thought that city living was going to be the only place that we're going to get them. Um, but I'm really happy that there is apartments in this world. I haven't had time to check them out myself, but I've seen a few videos of them. Um, and I think I'll do an apartment renovation on one of them. So that'll probably be the next video, probably tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, so we're just working on the kitchen here. Um, I just went with these base game counters. And then you would have saw I used that big wall decoration. Um, it's kind of like little... I don't know what, like little tiles put together and like a big canvas thing um, and there's like a, a one for the left and one for the right and you put them together um, so I did that there just as a space filler I suppose for that uh, wall I wasn't really too sure what to do with it and I really love that item and I actually noticed as well that another kind of positive point about build mode is that there's a lot of new wall decorations and just decorations in general actually um, and I always love to use wall plants and um, we just don't really have many of them in game but this pack added a lot of them and I did use quite a few of them throughout this build as well as you'll see as we go on so I'm really happy about the new wall decorations there wasn't actually any paintings I don't think which is a little bit frustrating but when you think about it the wall decorations is something else you can put up instead of a painting so I wasn't too bothered about that um, and then just here I went ahead and put a uh, desk and you can see me moving that door a little bit because I needed to fit in the desk chair a bit better um, so I didn't do an actual separate study today but you know like I said before, if you want to put a basement in, that's somewhere you could put it. Um, and I really love that decoration that I put above the desk. Um, it's kind of like glass panels or something. Um, I thought it was really interesting. Kind of has a modern aspect to it. And that's also what another thing I really loved about this build, um, about this pack, sorry, is that it does have a very modern styled build mode, which I really love. Um, but also you could use it in other settings as well. Sometimes I combine traditional and modern kind of styles together. Um, you could also do this as an industrial style as well with this pack. Um, so lots of options. And um, yeah, so this is the master bedroom. And I actually thought that this master room was kind of interesting in terms of the colour scheme I went for, because it's not really like a mature sort of style, I, I don't think. Um, it's kind of very dark and like, it could be like a teenager's room, I was actually thinking, but um, I do thought I made for an interesting master room. So I did that there. Um, I did go for quite contrasting colors in this build. Um, so as you can see, for most of the house, I do have that dark wooden floor and then lighter walls, which I thought looked nice. Um, and I was trying to find kind of a way to switch up this kind of bedroom setting here instead of just a bed with two bedside tables either side of it. Uh, so I went ahead and used one of those new shelving units um, and that kind of just made things look, you know, a little bit different. Um, and also, as you would have saw, the... Um, backyard for this home is kind of a side yard and um, I don't do those too often uh, if I'm going for like a 30 by 20 lot I normally choose ones which have the orientation of it kind of going more lengthways than width like this one is but um, I do still think it's fine it's just a little bit different and I don't know it just looks a little bit 
weird because I'm not used to it, but I, it's nothing wrong with it. Um, so this room right here, I would probably say is a teen's room, but like I said, I was keeping things fairly neutral so it doesn't have to be. And as you would have saw there above the bed, I did use some more of those um, hanging plants. Well, they're not hanging plants, wall plants, I should say. Um, and I really love those. Again, there's a lot of variety with those in this pack, which is great. Um, I notice a lot that I do put tons of plants and things in my Sims builds, but I don't actually own any in real life, uh, which I found... It's kind of funny to think about because I use them so much in my builds. Um, but anyway, so this is the kids' room here. Again, it's got a fairly neutral scheme colour scheme to it, but um, I still think it looks nice. And I did use one of the new doll houses that's made out of cardboard. I thought that would go really well with the theme of this build. I did do most of the bathrooms off screen in this build because, as you know, when I do speed builds, I like to keep most of the bathrooms in the house the same, um, just so there's kind of like a bit of consistency with them. So that makes it a little bit boring for the speed build. So I normally just show you one of them. Um, and actually, we did get some new bathroom items with this pack as well. I wasn't actually too bothered on the um, bathroom items. They do kind have a um I kind of thought that the fit well with get famous as well actually because it does have this kind of like marble effect running through some of the items and there's kind of some of those as well with get famous and I also use this little decoration it's like a little marble bowl um in a few kind of on a few console tables throughout the build you may have seen it and um I thought that's kind of a really fit an item with Get Famous as well. I know it's only a tiny little thing, but um, it kind of reminded me of that pack as I was placing down that item. Um, so yeah, um, the bathroom items, I wasn't too fussed on really. Um, the toilet especially is like really low to the ground and I always find that those toilets look weird. I'm pretty sure we have a similar one for um, from Get to Work, isn't it? So um, I wasn't really too fussed on the bathroom items, but you know, it's nice to have new items anyway. Um, some of you might like it. So we're just doing some finishing touches here. Um, I was just doing the train editing for the garage, so it kind of slopes up a little bit better. Um, and then we'll go ahead and decorate the garage. I don't put too many things in there, just a few uh, garagey style items, I suppose, some bits and bobs. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this voiceover up here. I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below. Let me know about what you thought of this build. If you have any more suggestions for other builds that you want to see with this pack next, that'd be really helpful to hear. This will be up on the gallery tomorrow on the 5th of June. My origin ID is RealThomasTV1, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!